Hey guys, I am back with the Finish It Friday I'm calling because I've been too busy to do it the Friday Tuesday and I've just been letting these things kind of accumulate. I took the ball cap out of my hair. It's dirty. It needs to be washed. I think I'm going to do one of them. Salt scrubs. I'm rambling. So let me get to it. I'm going to do this. Listen, the alcohol it has worn off, I promise. I only had one drink, but I don't drink very often. So when I do, it hits me fast. Okay, so this is the Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And honestly, like uh, a girl I used to hang out with left half a bottle at my house. So, yeah, I just used the other half. I like how gentle this is. It doesn't burn or sting my skin. This. I got this in the December Target box. And it is a coconut lime bath bomb. And it actually smells amazing. You know, sometimes when you get the cheaper bath bombs, they don't fizz up right or they just kind of settle at the bottom without fizzing throughout the whole tub. This dispersed the whole entire tub and it smells so good and left my skin really soft. So I was really impressed with a, you know, smaller budget bath bomb. So I liked it a lot. This is the Pacifica Super Green Detox Kale Charcoal Detox Facial Mask. This worked really well. I felt it tighten my skin a little bit, so I like that. And it's got really good ingredients. And it's got kale, charcoal, cilantro, green tea, sea kelp, and vitamin C. And it's 100% vegan. So really good stuff in there. Um, I liked this a lot. We got this in Soap and Glory. What did I get this in? You know, something from Ulta, I think. No. One of Target's... One of Target's beauty boxes, I think. Yeah. Or their advent calendar. Yeah, I got it from somewhere, y'all. Um, I use it after I shave my legs. I like this a lot. And, um... It's super fine. It's, like, compact, the grits, if that makes sense. It doesn't have a lot of oil in between. And it's super fine, so it's not like it just disperses right away. I need a table. So, these are always my favorite. This one I haven't used before. This is Hydrosource. No matter what biologic shampoo I use, I feel like they're all, they're all beautiful and amazing. I put it on my Christmas wish list for my husband. I bought this at a local shop. You can see it has water in it for my shower. And I, it says facial scrub. I did not use it on my face. Um... I was hesitant to use something that was handmade on my face because I do have sensitive skin. So I use this on my skin and my elbows. I get that, especially in the winter, the dry skin. I could feel it, you know, catch on stuff on my elbows. So I've been trying to use a lot of product on there. All right. This is what I was talking about earlier for my brushes. So usually I think it's just, I can't remember, but I think it's body wash and conditioner that I would use to clean my brushes um, or shampoo and conditioner, I can't remember. Uh, but I'm like, let me give an actual brush cleaner a, sh a shot. I'm sorry, I said all like five times in a row. I hate this. Um, sh stop doing that, Riri. Stop saying all oh, at everything. When I used my, the one where I used conditioner, my brushes come out soft when they dried. You know, it takes a while for my brushes to dry, like a day or so. But when they do dry, they feel really soft and fluffy still. They would regain their fluff. With this, it didn't. Uh, no matter how I wash them, I follow the directions. It says wet brush bristles with warm water. Swirl into the soap surface. Working into a lather. Rinse with warm water. Lay flat to dry. Um, it sucked. I'm throwing it out. It left my brushes feeling stiff. It didn't get them clean like I wanted to. When I do it with a, I can't remember if it's body wash or shampoo. I want to say it's probably shampoo. And I can't remember. Somebody told me and that's how I had done it the first couple times. I would just squeeze all the makeup out. Like I'd swirl it, swirl it, and then squeeze the excess colors out. And do it again until no more colors ran. Everything sits at the bottom with this, and 
it's horrible. I don't recommend it at all. Not even a little bit. This smells like this I got in a soap and glory kit. I think I got this. I don't know if it was through Ulta or Target, but one of the two, they had a soap and glory thing. This has, um, it's a three in one daily detox, smooths, cleans, and purifies. My skin did feel really clean after using it. And my favorite part is it smells like Irish spring soap. It smells like Irish spring soaps, soap, whatever. So it was reminiscent of like my dad's soap. So it was oddly comforting to use it to me. This was the Jorko K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Instant Shine and Repair Treatment. Those are a lot of words for a name. But it worked fairly well. I'll do one of these, I don't know, once every two weeks, twice a month or so, I'll do a hair mask. Maybe I should do it once a week. I just don't. Because uh, I don't blow dry my hair very often where I work. I'll just braid it in the morning for work or put it in a bun and a ball cap for work. Tonight I'm going to blow dry my hair though. It's cute when I actually blow dry it. It just doesn't happen very often. This is Patchology Restoring Night Eye Gels. Okay, so I do these kind of backwards, these eye gels. And maybe my logic is not very well. But, you know, when I do my face masks and my scrubs and all that stuff, my last, one of my last steps of my skincare is I'll do one of these at nighttime. Because I, I guess I figure if I preemptively do it at nighttime, I won't have to do it in the morning. And for the most part, that's been working out well. Except for maybe this week because I've been so tired. This is the same uh, concept. It was a uh, I'll dye mask, gel masks. These stick a little bit better than other eye masks. Because they're almost like papery. They're not paper, but... Uh, it almost feels like a cloth on you instead of like the silicone stuff that kind of droops down. So I liked how much this stuck better. I could walk around and do stuff. Okay. I did not even use all of this shampoo because it's not my favorite. I mean, it's not bad. It's just... It wasn't my favorite, if that makes sense. Sometimes you love something and sometimes you just don't and this wasn't something that I loved. I think um, where I have fine hair is a little bit heavy in my hair. So I don't, it just says nourishing shampoo. It is free of sulfates and parabens but it didn't work well, well in my really thin hair. It's not that it, it wasn't, it's not like oh don't get it but it's, it's going to work differently in different people's hairs. So. Oh my goodness, I can't even like hold a coherent sentence today. Not that that's any different than any other day because I can never put together good sentences. This is Meow and I don't know, it's those Invisibobble things. And I think I got these in like different colors. Okay, I like, I think I've got one in my hair right now. And it, it like it holds my hair. So I'm going to take it down, it's rough right now guys. Like that's a mess. Um... I like that they don't damage my hair. The only thing is, and I'm going to show you because every single one of them broke already. You see how far stretched out this is for my hair? They break. Okay, now it's not going to do it just to prove me wrong. Every one of these I've had, except for this is the last one. And I've had, I've got three of those in the past couple months. Three boxes of either three or five. Everyone is broke except for this one. That guy's holding on for dear life. Okay, this came with, I think, the Body Shop Advent Calendar. And it was good for doing my face at the sink in my bathroom. But it's not abrasive like I would like it to be. I wish it had a little bit more exfoliation in it. If I don't, I'm sorry, I'm really fidgety. I can't get comfortable right now wherever I'm sitting on the edge of my bed. It's like this big a space and my butt is way too big for that. Um, so what I started doing with it is instead of getting it wet to wash my face, I would leave it dry and use just the abrasiveness of it with my face is wet with soap on it. 
and then I'd rub it in with this. But I don't really need it. And I try not to use sponges too much before I throw them out. This I already have in there. This is the Origins Ginseng. It was a small sample. I think I got probably three uses out of this because it's eye cream. You can get quite a bit. I love everything from Origins. I think they have really good brand quality, product quality. Um, their motto is really good. They're really earth conscious. Earth conscious. And I like that a lot. And they're super, super good for your skin. Shout out to Origins. This was the Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash. This was really good. My skin felt really clean after using this. And I believe we got this in somewhere. I don't remember. But it worked out well. I, it, I wouldn't say it was great at removing makeup because it says it's a makeup remover and face cleanser. I would remove your makeup before using it. This is the Ahava Mineral Hand Cream. I love, love, love the smell and feel of this. Uh, I don't like the Ahava Body Lotion. I don't like their original scent of that. I don't know if you can get that in different scents. But this smells really, really good. And it's nourishing. And I like, I'll even use this. Ooh, there's still even a dab left in there. I didn't know there was anything left in there. It's just so, it's so super, super hydrating and it smells amazing. This is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Normal Dry Skin Little Moisturizer. I like this because it is um, hydrating, but it feels super lightweight. Like it's uh, just a little drink of water for your skin. It doesn't feel heavy on me at all. Oh, this. I was not crazy about this. Asai Daily Facial Scrub. Let me know what you thought of this. I it kind of smells like brown sugar. Which I mean, I like that. I like the smell of it a lot. It reminds me of the My Ponies. The little cutie scent that they had. I just... It felt cheap on my skin. I'm not sure how much this brand runs usually. It's a uh, Elise, I think it's called. Lumina Kai, Lumina Sai. I don't really know. Um, it just felt like the little abrasive pieces for being a scrub had more soap in it than scrub. I don't know. I wasn't crazy about that. I know I'm not wording that very well. This is the Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus. I love, 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 love this moisturizer. I use this in coalition with their night serum although lately I've been trying to use up the little bit that I have of the good bones okay serum I cannot get comfortable where I'm sitting right now this is the Biore self-heating one minute mask okay this is dirty the packaging this would have been great except they give you such a small amount in here if anybody had a longer face than me because you know I have kind of a small round face they would not have had enough I barely had enough to make it on my face and like it had to stop like here usually i'd go right up to my hairline and then just hop in the shower or something after they could have put just a tiny bit more in there and i squeezed that package pretty well next is the hey honey facial scrub oh this is the one i was thinking of i had this in my shower and i think it would be great but for whatever reason if okay the first time I used it, I used it after an oil wash, which an oil cleanser. So I didn't like it after that. And then I used it with a regular cleanser in my shower. And it has almost that intense kind of burny feel for a second. I don't know if other people experience that with this. But when I got out, my skin was like gleaming. It was really, really nice. So I liked that a lot. Glam Glow Super Mud. Uh, I love how tight my skin gets with this on and it feels tight and clean afterwards so yeah this works super good I think I got this in my little birthday gift box from Sephora this is Lumine Glubose Glue oh my goodness gracious Riri 
Lomine Glow Boost Essence contains vitamin C with hyaluronic acid. I've been using this um, together with my Good Jeans moisturizer thing, or serum, sorry, with my Good Jeans serum. I really do think that this helps my skin to glow, so I, I dig this a lot. I don't know. I think I use something else from that brand a lot too that I like. It was like pink colored. This is my Shape Tape from Tarte that I got in an Ipsy last month. I'm going to save this and take this and get the full size because I used the last bit of it today on my under eyes and it's still there. Like it's still, oh goodness, you look rough. Um, it works amazing and it's for them sending me some random color. Like they got it so closely matched to my skin. So I like that a lot. This is a draw it all out skin detoxifying peel mask. These things are so satisfying to do. In this brand, the 9.0 point or 10.0 point six, such a stupid name for a company. Uh, they're so reasonably priced and they have good quality products for their pricing. And there's one more thing in this bucket. Everyday bouncy mask. This was a sheet mask. I'm I'm not hating on sheet masks. Just I've had so many of them. I'm not wanting to use sheet masks every day. So I mean, I feel like at a certain point a lot of them are the same. There was one that I loved. Loved, loved. I think I talked about it in my tr last Tri-Day Tuesday. Update. I had talked about the foot masks in one of my Tri-Day Tuesday videos uh, that I had used from Starskin. I think we got it in last month's Mask Allure box. And I had used them. And after a couple of days, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, it hydrated, it worked fine, whatever. I didn't see where it had said that your skin, your feet will start to shed the dead skin. Well, it said it within five to ten days. Well, right after the fifth day, I'd done my video before that, so I didn't get to tell you that guys this. Right after the fifth day, my feet shed, like shed, shed, like crazy. I had to wear socks in my bed because they shed for like two days until I could get it all off. I went and bought like a new scraper and it was like a process to get it off. But still, even now, my feet feel super, super, super soft just from that. And because I, I had the like dry heel problem. And well, this is empty. But this Bon Bon Victor and Rolf has this nice kind of spicy sweet smell that I liked. And that is everything that I'm supposed to be doing for Tri-Day Tuesdays that ended up being finished at Friday. And I just now got around to it. So I'm sorry if I was rambling. I'm still not very good at this YouTube thing. I never look at the camera correctly. I just talk to you and ramble and hope it turns out okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if other people have this problem if they film. Uh, I try. I can just be me and do what I can do. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I am going to blow dry my hair tonight. And watch that new movie Peppermint with Jennifer Gardner. Jennifer Gardner's in it. I'm going to watch that and relax and read. That's it. And hang out with my kids. We're going to go see the Nutcracker Ballet. Um, let me know what you guys are doing for fun Christmas activities this weekend. Uh, or what you think of any of the products I showed today. Thank you guys. God bless. Have a good night.